In today's video, we're checking out a really unique pedal from the folks over at Shiftline. This is the Stages Dynamic Drive. Now, the reason it's called Stages is we get three different gain stages you can select from thanks to this three-way toggle switch. In the up position, we're getting the most amount of gain staging. In the down position, we're getting the least. You're about to hear a jam track. I'm gonna use all three of them in this particular section. So keep an eye out on the annotations on screen. After the jam track, I'll give you a full rundown of how this works, and then we'll go over to some isolated tones. A huge thank you to Oleg from Shiftline for setting this out for the review. I really appreciate it. If you wanna check it out, I'll link it down in the description box below. Here we go. Let's take a look at the stages dynamic drive up close. So as I mentioned at the start, we get three different gain stages we can choose from, low, medium, and high with the toggle switch in the up position. This is extremely musical, especially on the first two. If you're a blues or classic rock player, you could leave this as an always on pedal and just use your volume control on your guitar to get it to clean up. And it does that extremely well. And if you wanna go for a bit more of an asymmetrical distortion tone, you can click it up, crank up the gain, and you're good to go. There's also a second three-way toggle switch over here, which is kind of like a voicing control that affects the global EQ of the pedal. With the toggle switch in the up position, we're getting the full frequency response. In the middle position here, it's cutting the low end and also boosting the harmonics. In the down position, we're getting a standard high pass filter, which is reducing the low end. This can really help you clean up a muddy sound if your amplifier is struggling or whatever the case may be, or if you're just getting too much bass out of one of the settings. We also get a full-blown three-band EQ, and I have to point out, this works extremely well in conjunction with any of the three settings. So you can set this up once, switch gain stages, and you don't have to re-EQ everything all over again. Pretty cool. The Stages Dynamic Drive has top-mounted jacks and it operates anywhere between nine and 12 volt DC. Shiftline is a brand I've never showcased on the channel until now. So if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you want to check this out, I'll link it down in the description box below. All right, let's kick it off in today's video. I'm going to start on my Telecaster and we're plugged into the clean channel of the Fender Blues Deluxe Reissue Amplifier. This is my clean tone on bridge pickup. <laughs> Now, if you skip the intro, we get three different gain stages, which also adds different types of compression, all that kind of stuff as you turn up the gain. But we're going to start on the lowest gain stage to begin with, which is like a transparent overdrive. And we have the frequency on the right set all the way up, which is giving us the full range effect. Here we go. <laughs> So that's the most open sounding overdrive tone. As we click it into the middle, it's my personal favorite. This is great, especially for a blues player, classic rock, whatever the case may be. And if you like to rock, click it into the up position, which is the highest gain setting. Here we go. You know what I 
like about this pedal is you can flip between each of the different gain stages and still get a really musical sound without needing to adjust every parameter on the pedal. I dig it. Up next, we're going to take a look at the gain control on each of the three settings with the toggle switch, firstly starting with it in the down position. So this is with the gain set to about 10 or 11 o'clock. Here we go. Beautiful. So once you start cranking it up, you still get a lot of drive back, even on this lowest gain setting. It's kind of giving us less compression overall as well. It's pretty cool. And now with the toggle switch in the center position, so we're getting more gain in this particular setting. We're also going to take a look at the gain control, starting with it at nine o'clock. Got that full range low end there, it sounds really good. Gain cranked. It's very quiet this pedal, even with the gain all the way up. So that's that great blues middle ground slash classic rock sound. It's really cool. Now we're gonna crank up this switch, but we're gonna back off the drive. Have a listen. Got sustained for days, man, that is awesome. Let's take a look at the toggle switch on the right hand side. This is like your voicing control when it comes to the low end frequencies and also the upper mids. So we've had it in the up position the entire time, which is basically the flat or starting tone. And then as you switch it down, it clears up the mud on the low end, which is really cool depending on your guitar and amplifier setting. You can of course use the three band EQ, but I've dialed in this really big fat sound so you can see or hear exactly what this toggle switch is doing. So this is bridge pickup. So that was a really big low end sound that I dialed in and having the high pass filter enabled really gave me so much more clarity on my overall tone. I really dig it with the toggle switch in the down position. One of the things that seriously impressed me about this pedal is its dynamics. So with the toggle switch in the center, the gain cranked and we're on the high pass filter mode. I'm gonna start with my volume control down on neck pickup. Have a listen to this. If you're a blues player, you'll get a kick out of it.
Use your volume control, you can get it to clean up beautifully. If you're sort of like an always on overdrive player, this particular setting would work for blues players without question. I could use that all day. Volume back up. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at the three band EQ, starting on the lowest gain setting to begin with, then we'll go over to the high gain channel as well. Have a listen to this. We'll go for more of a pushed mid sound now, back off the bass, add a little bit of treble. Fatten it back up. Over to the high gain tones now, here we go. Let's wrap this video up. I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on the shift line stages overdrive pedal. Now, being that it says dynamic drive, this is one of the most unique and usable circuits I've had my hands on because you get essentially three different gain stages that can do lots of different things in your signal chain. You could use this with the toggle switch down to boost another pedal or boost an already overdriven amplifier without any problems. There's plenty of output gain on this pedal. You can also use it with the toggle switch in the middle position to get that great classic rock or blues tone. As you turn your volume control down on your guitar, it cleans up beautifully and it worked extremely well in that scenario. Thirdly, if you're looking for a high gain tone, you can put the toggle switch in the up position and then shape the pedal however you like with the three band EQ and the voicing control on the side. Now, one thing I should mention, with the toggle switch on the right all the way up, so giving us that flat EQ, it's quite bassy and that might favor someone who's looking for a really fat strat tone or telecaster tone on that bridge pickup. But if you do find it's a little bit too bassy, you have the three band EQ at your disposal and that toggle switch that I just mentioned to really shape your sound. So it's extremely usable. Build quality wise, this pedal's fantastic. It's handmade in St. Petersburg, Russia. The enclosure looks awesome. It's this charcoal sparkle finish, which I haven't seen before. It almost looks like asphalt from the roads, but yeah, it's super cool. It looks really good. Let us know what you think of the tones, and if you want to check this out, I'll link it down below. Catch you soon. See ya.